Today, I'm sharing a way to store spices. This project was long overdue in our house, mainly because I was having a difficult time figuring out a good system. We don't have many drawers in our kitchen, so a spice drawer was not an option, and the cabinets that we were using were hard to access and not very user-friendly. Inspired by Jen Woodhouse over at House of Wood, I put together a similar rendition of her infamous spice jar display. I will link her Instagram picture where I drew inspiration from below. Let's take a look at what the spice situation looked like before this project. They did not look pretty. All of the jars were different sizes, the labels weren't cohesive, and they were bursting out of the two containers that were used to corral them. The sight of this mess deterred me from wanting to ever use them. I originally wanted to use spice jars from Target. However, after going to three different Targets and constantly checking their website, I accepted the fact that they weren't bringing the ones I wanted back in stock. I found these spice jars on Amazon. They are from a family-owned Wisconsin-based business named All Spice and are linked below. They also make a pretty neat spice rack that accommodates these jars, which caught my attention as well. The All Spice jars were the same size as the Target ones and come with three different styles of shaker tops. I did spend some time researching what kind of spice jars I wanted to use. I knew that I didn't want the traditional four ounce size and preferred something a little shorter. So I did buy two sets of these ones, which totaled 36 jars. The adorable labels were purchased from Paper and Pear on Etsy and are the 1.25 inch square version. I love, love, love the modern sleek look. They are printed on a polyester label paper and are able to withstand water, oil, and other kitchen spills. They're available in sets of 20, 40, or 60, or you can request personalized labels to fit your specific cooking preferences. I bought the set of 60. The set of 60 does come with three blank labels in the event you need to add something that she does not have. The spice racks were also purchased from Amazon and are linked below as well. I ended up purchasing six and I was able to fit six spice jars on each shelf and they look so nice lined up next to each other. The sides of the shelves do slide out if you wanted to hang them side by side. To begin, I alphabetically listed every spice in our house and then went through and cross-checked it with the 60 spice jar labels that I received from Paper and Pear. The spices that matched up were changed to the blue font. I then looked through what I had left over from Paper and Pear's labels and added a few new spices that would be fun to have around. I did end up having a few jars left over. With my list in hand, I began the exciting process. Adding the labels to the jars was one of the more satisfying parts of this project. They instantly transformed the look. To get them on every jar evenly, I taped a piece of washi tape on the bottom and then adhered the label right above the piece of washi tape. It just so happened to be centered, which was great. There were a few leftover labels, which I did not want to throw out. Instead, I cut them down to squares, stacked them up, and will store them in one of the extra spice jars. There was one label that I DIY'd a little. It was the apple pie spice. I ended up using my little Dymo labeler to print a label, cut it down, and stuck it on. It is not nearly as beautiful as the others, but it will do. Our kitchen is very small and has no wall space. If I had an, any empty wall real estate, I would have put the spice racks there. They're beautiful and should be displayed where everyone can see them. Nevertheless, the only space I could find in the kitchen was on the inside of one of the pantry doors. Our pantry doors are very thin, so putting 12 screws through that was not an option. So we ripped down a piece of sanded half inch plywood to mount on the inside of the door and painted it the same color as our door which is Benjamin Moore Nimbus. I used little boxes from around the house to ensure that I was measuring an equal distance between each shelf and left a little more space than necessary in the event I ever swap out the jars for something larger or taller. The board was mounted to the inside of our pantry door using screws and the screw holes were filled and the seam was caulked and repainted. The other exciting part of this project was decanning all of the spices into their respective jars. I used a funnel to make that part of the project cleaner and went to town transferring everything over. I also added a shaker top to each jar. As for the expiration dates, I used a fine point sharpie and wrote it on the back and I will use an alcohol wipe to remove the sharpie when needed. I also bought a little double-sided tapered measuring spoon for fishing out spices when need be. We did have a handful of specialty spices that weren't quite worthy of new spice jar status. 
We pick them up here and there and oftentimes are gifted them. We also have a handful of overstock spices. Both those and the specialty spices are kept in this acrylic container, which is stored in one of our kitchen cabinets. I am absolutely thrilled with how this spice rack display turned out. It not only beautifully stores our spices, but it also doubles as a piece of artwork in our kitchen. 